Master of Ceremonies Sarah McCarthy ushered the city councillors to centre stage yesterday for a chance for Southland women to get to know them better. Leslie Soper, Alex Crackett, Rebecca Munston and Tony Biddle were invited to speak at the Glass Elevator event, but rather than talking business, councillors gave an insight into their personal lives. It was really more about getting to know us as people, not necessarily what we stand for on council and, and that kind of thing, but who we are and what, you know, what's, what's made us who we are today. She said it was a chance to show the public that councillors are approachable, normal people too. I think it's a great way to actually engage with the public and the community. Um, you know, we're people too and um, <laughs> you know, when people sort of get to know you and build a relationship with you, they're more likely to come to you when they have an issue or a suggestion or a, an idea and that kind of thing. And that's the kind of thing that many of us on the council want to build up with the community. Glass Elevator Chair Kirsty McNeil says the networking group and its events offer a great way to promote both businesses and individual business women. It's just promoting business within our community. Um, there is, it's a total win-win for everybody. Um, it's great for the Chamber because it encourages people to understand what the Chamber is capable of doing for them um, within the community. And it's also great for business women because it promotes themselves personally and their businesses and connects them. She said a more personal approach to the event was welcomed by the women attending. This event was a little bit different to our usual style. It's a um, very uh, humorous way to approach it, which I think was a great uh, way to go about it um, and break down those barriers and yeah, look, connecting people with con people is what it's all about. Humorous stories about what they wanted to be when they grew up to the make of their first car. These city councillors kept the crowd laughing well into the morning. Sharon Reese, The South Today.